All right, back again with a quick video here. Um, just showing you how I cleaned up this turbo suede saddle. Maybe it could help you out. Um, so yeah, I never cleaned suede before, but I read on the internet that white vinegar kind of works well. So uh, we're going to use that. So white vinegar and just put in a little yogurt container and then use an old toothbrush just to kind of work it in. Um, I think you can also use... Uh, I also tried using just a wire brush, um, but I f felt like that was too harsh. I stuck with the toothbrush. Uh, you can see it here. Um, it did help get rid of the stains a little bit, so um, but you just got to be careful it doesn't wear it down too much. And then I read that uh, an eraser works as well. So uh, yeah, if you have super stubborn stains, you can try the eraser, but yeah, it didn't work that well for me. So basically, I just stuck with the the toothbrush and the white vinegar. So yeah, it's dipping, dipping toothbrush in and just working on areas one part at a time. And then what I did was I used kitchen towel to soak up the stains as I went. Um, yeah, they say don't use water on suede because it'll wreck it. So yeah, be careful of that. Um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, I just did that all over as best I could. And this was kind of the first round, and I just let it air dry. Um, yeah, you can kind of see how it looks after the first time. Um, yeah, got rid of some of the stains, so I was pretty happy about that. And then after it dried, I just brushed it down with a dry toothbrush and just got rid of all the extra dirt. And then I went again uh, round two with the, the white vinegar and the toothbrush again. Um, here I tried a little bit of oxy action on the bottom to see if I could get rid of some of the yellowness because it has bleach in it. Um, but yeah, it helped a little, but I just stuck with the white vinegar. I think white vinegar just works pretty good. And yeah, that's the best I could get it. So now I wanted to fix up the hole. And yeah, in my other video, you can see I used Nitsu glue. Um, here you can see I kind of messed up, but you can actually use the Nitsu glue and uh, stick it on all the areas where you made a mistake and I'll actually lift it back up. Um, so yeah, this was a little bit fussy, but I got there in the end just to cover it up. You can see how it looks here. I just smoothed it out as best I could, smoothed all the edges with my fingers. Um, I would say, yeah, this product bro blends a lot better with, um, with uh, leather, um, but yeah, I still did it on the suede just to see how it would work. And then I just use, I think, 400 wet and dry here. Just be careful not to use too much water, just to sand it down. Um, sand it all over, smooth it as best I could. And yeah, I think that's basically it. Just wiped all the debris off. And you can see this is the old one. And here's the new one. Yeah, I was pretty hyped with all the stains coming out. Um, yeah, I think that worked really well. I think, yeah, for Nitsu glue, probably doesn't look the best for most people, but uh, it's going to protect it and I'm just chucking it on my uh, commuter wrap bike anyway. So maybe in the future I might give it a full wrap, I don't know, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for the next video.